breaking news. Nnamdi Kano will be released soon, says lawyer. Nnamdi Kano will be released soon, says lawyer. Well, this has been, you know, the prayers of uh, BFR agitators. And this is also what they have been asking the Nigerian government to do because it's the right thing to do. And they are still saying Biafra nation, no going back. Whether Nigerian government like it or not, that Biafra nation, no going back. If Mazen and Gitano, he, they talk him, he say Biafra nation, nobody go fin negotiate him. You understand? So even if he not fi achieve him, Biafra nation must be achieved. Even when the German government, they persecute them while leaving bandits and Boko Haram flezzing in the northern part of the country. But freedom fighters have become their enemies. Well, let's hit the news and get the full details. Nandi Kano will be released soon, says lawyer. After more than one year in detention of the Department of State Services, DSS, Freedom may soon come the way of IPOP leader Namde Kano. If the words of the lead council are to be taken seriously. Ifani Ejefo in a statement on Sunday said, His team was doing everything legally permissible to secure Kano's release from custody of the state service. He stated this while announcing the release of Ukamaka Ijeze, a supporter of the indigenous people of Biafra, popularly known as Mama Biafra, by the DSS. The 80 years old woman, according to Ijefo, was released on Sunday after more than three months in custody of the DSS. AJZ, who is said to be Kano's foster mother, was arrested on May 18th. 2022, when she attended the IPOP's leaders' court hearing at the Federal High Court, Abuja. I am very delighted to inform you all that Mrs. Ukamaka, Mama Biafra, has regained her freedom. She is now out of DSS dungeon. Thank the Chukwu Keke Abiyama for his huge success. The lawyer said in a short news release. We are not relenting every prisoner's of conscience, including our client, Onye Indomazin and the Kano will soon regain their freedom, he added. Kano was in June 2021 rearrested in Kenya, or can I say adopted in Kenya, under controversial circumstances and extradited to Nigeria to face charges of treasonable felony and terrorism levied against him by the federal government of Nigeria. IPOB, which has been pursuing for the secession of the Southeast region from Nigeria, has been linked with reports of insecurity in the region. So guys, what's your take concerning this? After more than one year in detention of the Department of State Services, DSS, Freedom may soon come to the way of IPOP leader Namdi Kano. If the words of his leader, his lead council, are to be taken seriously. Ifani Ejefo, in a statement on Sunday, said his team was doing everything legally permissible to secure Kano's release from custody of the state services. He stated this while announcing the release of Ukamaka. AJC, a supporter of the indigenous people of Biafra, popularly known as Mama Biafra by the DSS. The 80 year old woman, according to Ijefo, was released on Sunday after more than three months in custody of DSS. <laughs> Ukamaka, who is said to be Kano's foster mother, was arrested on May 18, 2022 when she attended IPOB leaders' court hearing at the Federal High Court, Abuja. 
I am very delighted to inform you all that Mrs. Ukamaka HAC, Mama Biafra, has regained her freedom. She is now out of DSS dungeon. Thank the Chukwu Keke Abiyama for his huge success, the lawyer said in a short news release. We are not relenting every prisoner of conscience, including our, our client, Onyendo Mazi Namrikano, will soon regain their freedom, he added. Kano was in June 2021, adopted in Kenya under controversial circumstances and extradited to Nigeria to face charges of treasonable felony and terrorism labeled against him by the federal government. Hyper, which has been pursuing for which have been pushing for the succession of the Southeast uh, region from Nigeria has been linked with a report of insecurity in the region. They must release Mazinam the Kano. They have to. And they must release him. Okay. Someone said Nigeria is wicked to us by arresting a 80 years of old mother for solidarity with Mazen Nandikano. Exactly. Imagine very wicked of them. Why would they arrest someone as old as 80 years? <laughs> what exactly is our impact on this? That you arrest a 80 years old woman for good three months. This is really very bad. But thank God she has regained her freedom. I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much.